Got some of my new parts in today for my Ruger 1022 upgrades. Today I got in a new aluminum, nice, white, smooth, polished trigger. And I'm gonna replace this polymer trigger that came in the rifle. I already got my extended mag release on here. Haven't actually used it yet, but definitely like the, the feel. It's certainly just playing around with it. Way more easy to trigger. I'd actually got this gun used off of armslist.com. Now oh, I'm upgrading the entire thing, uh, getting a uh, AR-22 uh, stock system. That should be in later in the week. Gonna have the four grips, just, you know, the whole nine yards. But for right now, I can't wait for all that other shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the trigger in and put in whatever I get as I get it. So, I already got this barrel band ready to go. And get this takedown screw. Make sure. Oh yeah, this uh, trigger. Gonna go ahead and throw this up for anyone interest, interested. Found it on eBay. Atomic Arms. This is kind of their thing, saying if you're happy, leave a uh, feedback. But it seems pretty high quality just from you know holding it. It's pretty nice, solid. Again, like I said, aluminum, so it's really light, but it has a real nice, smooth, clean, just crisp feel to it. Way better, way, way better than this polymer bullshit. Anyway, let's get this stock off. Alright. Now, oh, yep, there goes my buffer pin. That's another one I'm going to go ahead and make a video on. Well, maybe not, but I'm going to go ahead and do a... Somebody else had a really great video where they just take a nylon bolt, bought it at Home Depot for a few dollars, cut it to length, and jammed it in. But yeah, I definitely want to replace this and save my receiver from future damage. So I plan on running a shit ton of ammo through this. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pop, I believe it's these two pins out. Alright, got my pins removed from the trigger group. And, of course, everything kind of toppled out. Here's that polymer trigger. Hopefully I can uh, get it all back together in order and right. Uh, I, luckily I snapped a few pictures before I popped the pins. Hopefully use as a reference and then I'm sure I can just Google it real quick, some diagrams or whatnot. But it's always good to try and be sure you know what you're doing. There's all the parts. I'm gonna go ahead and swap this out and try and piece it back together. Okay, so here's the stock polymer trigger I got out of the 1022. You can see it has some uh, molded grooving in it for, I'm assuming, grip, but this feels cheap. It really does. It just feels like crap. It's not smooth, it's rough. This feels like a cheap, crappy Chinese phone or and be the replayer. You know what I mean? You grab something, you, you want some, you want a little bit of weight to it. Yeah. This got a shitty feel. No other way to say it. Boom, here we go. Oh, so sexy. It's pretty much, uh, looks to be the exact same shape for the most part. It's got the it's got a little step down right here, unlike this one, completely smooth. Oh, feels like an oiled whore's ass. It's amazing. Oh, love it. Okay, got it figured out. Look back. Just 
I need to double check before I start slapping pins back in. This was facing forward. So, I have my little pin here. Let me take my big fumbling arthritis riddled hands. Uh, get that in there. There we go. Feels a little, a little bit loose, but okay, we'll get that in. Now, let's gonna figure out how the heck all this was in there. <laughs> I have no clue how this was mounted in there. Oh, there we go. More pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop, take a look at Google, and get this all put back together. So now I got, where we have, assisted by Google, I have the trigger sub assembly put back together. I have my pin in here, all the parts. Take the housing. I'm going to put this piece back in. Sorry, y'all. I'm not claiming to be any kind of expert or no remotely close what I'm doing. So I know all the general parts, but I'm not even going to attempt to say that what's what. You all know what it is. If you don't, you can see it. Okay, so now I'm gonna fit the sub assembly. I'm gonna slide it back in. Now, I'm gonna try and reline up this hole for the pin. Make sure to keep, don't lose any of your pins, keep them in order. Uh, got a little bit of fuzz on that. I made sure as I pulled mine out, I laid them out in order that I would be able to recognize to put it back in. So, you see that hole? They're pretty close. I'll try to just jiggle this in. Let's pull, wiggle these internals a bit. And now, okay, the pin is back in and secure. Wow, already. Love the look of that. Way better than, way better than what it was. I almost went with a red, bright red trigger. I'm actually glad I just went with the uh, satin aluminum. Trigger. But anyway, okay, we have the sub assembly in. Now, I will reference Google again, as anyone should when doing a project. Just double check. And then I will go ahead and install the next part. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to insert the Retaining piston and spring into the hole on the front face of the trigger housing. I'm going to use my index finger to depress the piston while I insert the magazine release lever from the bottom of the trigger housing. Drop this pin back in.
Okay. I want to test to make sure that functions. Okay. And it does. Sounds like I might have got a little bit of dirt in there. Shit. I'll clean that out. Okay. God, that looks sexy. Oh. Might have to pause the camera so I can masturbate real quick. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Sorry, messed up. This pen's gonna come back out real quick. No big deal. Pop that back out. Mag release, everything's still in position. I need to take my auto bolt release. And I drop the bolt release. Make sure it's still lightly oiled, no dirt on it. I'm gonna drop this in down tied up against the left side. Alright, I this way. Okay, so there we go. Camera's about to die. Let me go ahead and plug that in, but there we go. Bolt release, mag release, then pins in. Got the trigger in. I'm sure there's different orders of doing this, as I've learned real quick from eBay or Google. But getting it done. Alright, got the hammer with the spring on it. You want this on the bottom. And the bend in. Take your housing. You want the spring on the right side of the housing. Let's turn the right side. Lift, lift the mag or the bolt release plate up. Slide the hammer bushing under it, and then align the cross pin hole. So I dropped it in. Make sure the spring is to the right side. Make sure the plate is lifted up above the bushing, and then line the hole up. Again, I've never done this before. It's all completely new to this. So yes, an experienced 1022 user. Couldn't do this a lot quicker. I'm sure there's a lot better videos, but this is for noobs. Okay, pen's lined up. It's a spring, hammer, Plate pendant. Okay. okay, so I messed up. <laughs> it's okay, it's a learning process. The spring should land in. There's a little notch down here. The spring should land on. I set mine in past that, so just need to pop this pin real quick. Set it in. I don't know how good the light is. Make sure my pin sets in that notch. Then let the hammer settle a little bit and line up. Oh, line up this hole for the pin. Okay, and the pin. Let me see if I can turn the light on. There we go. Okay. So this pin, where the bend is, 
right down in there has to sit on top of that with that little notch so got that wrong a minute ago but there we go that's in the hammer's in here's our pin we're gonna have to set this in okay pins in spring the bolt release is over the bushing so we should be good to go trying to keep any kind of dirt debris any little fabric bits of fabric anything like that out of here okay so now I have the ejector set it in the notch line it up with the pin Okay, and then before we push the pin all the way in, we got the pin lined up. You see it right there. We push the spring down and then push the pin all the way through. So, top of the spring should be under the pin as we press it in. Okay, with safety off, pull the trigger and man manually push the hammer into the forward position. Okay. Alright. Easy enough. Alright, and insert the hammer mainspring assembly into the retaining hole in the lower rear of the trigger housing. So that is down here. Okay, so that just dropped right in. On the top strut with the groove in the back of the hammer. Easily, easy enough, fell right in. And use your thumb to retract the hammer back into the cock position and engage the safety. So, I'll pull that back. Oh, almost. Okay, there we go. A little bit of tension. Engage it back. Safety engaged. There we go. That looks freaking tight. Oh, this, that looks tight. But yeah, oh, that trigger. Whew, that feels nice. Feels real nice. Go ahead and I guess I'll install this back into the receiver. Line my pins back up. Only tight pins on this damn thing. Drop this in ever so carefully. Don't want to damage my stock because I actually am about to turn around and sell it here in a few days. Okay. So there we go. Oh, just makes you want to cry, don't it? Oh, so beautiful. Definitely glad I didn't go with the red trigger. That looks sweet. It's going to look really awesome in the AR-15 style platform I purchased for this, which is the ATI AR-22 8-sided stock system. There's a completed upgrade. Trigger, extended mag release on the gun.